For this demo, we're going to create the leader styles we need in order to put keynotes in our project. And we're going to make two leader styles. One of them is going to be our traditional leader with the arrow um, and the hexagon that where you can put on a plan or an elevation or whatever it is we're keynoting. The other is going to just be the tag that we can use for our master keynote list. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the annotate tab so we can create our multi-leader styles. We're going to go over here to the multi-leader area, click on the arrow here, and I'm going to create a new one. And I am going to make sure it's annotated. I'm going to call it Keynote with Leader. And you can call it whatever you want to, whatever is going to make sense to you. I'm going to click Continue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the type is set to straight. My symbol is close filled. I'm going to adjust my arrow size to 3 seconds of an inch. The leader structure should be fine. I'm going to go to content, and here I'm going to change it from M text, and I'm going to switch it to block. And that's going to put a, uh, a symbol here, a block here. And I want to change it from detail callout to hexagon, because we want to use the hexagon for our tag. Then I'm going to click OK, and set current, and close. So now let's go ahead and try putting our, a leader on our plan here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my annotation scale to one quarter of an inch, and you can put it at whatever scale is appropriate for the project. And I'm going to click on multi-leader, and I'm going to place it, and then enter whatever my tag number would be, and click OK. So you can see now it's created a, uh, a leader line with this tag. So now what we want to do is we want to create our second multi-leader style, and we can use that for just the tag uh, for our notes. So we're going to go back into the multi-leader area, click on the arrow again, and we want to start with our keynote with leader, and what we want to do is we want to click new, and make sure it says uh, start with keynote with leader, and we're going to, I'm just going to call this one keynote tag and I'm going to hit continue. Now the only thing that I have to change on this one is I have to go into leader format and I want to change this type which is the the arrow itself and I want to change it to none and then I can click OK. And then if we want to see what that looks like we can click on the multi-leader button here and we can place it and you can see that and now it is just the tag itself. And this, like I said, is useful. You can use this in your your master list of notes so you can put your your uh, tags in and then add your, your keynotes over here and then you're sure that they're going to match exactly. And you can do that either in um, model space where we are now or you can even go into paper space and here we would have to change our let's see, yep, our annotation scale would automatically go to one to one and then if we want to just put in our tag we can put it in directly into paper space and we can create our master keynotes here and I would just recommend creating some guidelines so that you can line up all the tags and get the text aligned with them. So that's uh, how I would recommend going about creating the keynotes, uh, both the tags and the tags with the leaders.